Hi, this is Eddie Hearn, and you're watching Lights Out. This is Fessel Khan for Lights Out, proudly sponsored by Spartans Law. We're here at the Brent Civic Centre near Wembley, ahead of Saturday night's huge show at the OVO Arena. This man, full of smiles, Miss Anthony Pretty Boy Taylor, takes on Salt Puppy on the undercard of KSI versus Joe Fournier. I have to say that was entertaining as ever, that press conference. How confident are you going into Saturday? Um, I feel very confident, ready to go. I'm ready to make this happen, bro. Um, I'm confident in my ability I can get the job done. You've done a lot of trash talking. I mean, you're a very loud character. You're very entertaining, but you've approached this fight slightly different. What's the reason behind that? Uh, you know, there's no. I like to have fun and mix it up. Always have the joking personality with some a little serious, bit seriousness. But I like to switch it up. You know, I don't want to always be rah 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 ha rah ha ha ha. You know, stuff like that that mixes it up. And you've obviously made a little bit of money out of that press conference as well. Absolutely, I made good money. You know, that's enough to pay my uh, phone bill. Enough to. Uh, Make it happen. You're a guy that has taken on big challenges, the likes of Idris Virgo, uh, Tommy Fury. You've got an MMA background to you. You're fighting 50-50 fights every time you move on. What is the ambition as you move on into the next phase of your combat sports career? And who is it that you're targeting if you can get past Salt Poppy on Saturday night? I think a lot of that has to do with family now. I got, I'm having a family soon, you know, wanting to buy a house. So that motivation is what brings me up to that next level. And as far as the opponent, my eye is on slim necks after I beat Salt Poppy. We saw what went down when you and Dylan Dennis come to blows. Um, Dylan Dennis is a guy that we haven't heard from since the fight with KSI never went through in the end for whatever reason. I mean, that was very interesting to say the least of what happened in that parking lot. Is that a fight that we could perhaps make next? <laughs> Dylan's never going to do this. He's never going to do this. He's never going to fight. He's just going to back out every single time. Look, man, we don't know what he's going on, what's going on with him personally or mentally. So I'm not going to just keep bashing the man because he wants attention. But what I can do is focus on myself and the next opponent once Dean happens. You and Gypsy John Fury almost came to blows as well at one of your press conferences. He's a guy that's willing to fight anybody. And I know obviously he's not a young man anymore, but again, he said he wants to fight anybody. Maybe look to fight Gypsy John Fury or take out Tommy hey, first. Hey, if Gypsy John Fury want to do an exhibition, let's make it happen. <laughs> All right, prediction quickly on Saturday night. Me, first round knockout. Top man, Anthony Pretty Boy Taylor, thank you very much for talking to us.